Mythic Huntsman as Mistweaver. Here's a quick peek at the gear setup. This is just a pug group. Um, at the start of the fight, we can just use our Venthyr ability because there's not really a huge use for it in this. Like, because the first time we're going to use our cooldowns is on Sin Seeker, but we're going to have Revival and our Yulon, so like we don't need to overkill it also with Venthyr. So we can kind of just press Venthyr at the start just to do some passive healing, and it bleeds over a little bit into this first uh, lunge that happens. Nice. For Sin Seeker, we're just soaking it as a raid, so we just pick one and stand in it. Press our Fort Brew. And then from here, we're going to Manatee, Yulon, and then we're basically just keeping Renewing Mist on cooldown, refreshing Jade Wind active, and then other than that, we're just pressing a few um, Enveloping Mists here and there without spending too much of our mana because the goal is to get to about 50% or to have 50% or more mana by the time we get to the third phase. So, refreshing Jade Wind. And now that that dog's dead, we can go ahead and life cocoon one of the tanks that has a bleed. I think next time we life cocoon the other tank because his bleed is the duration's longer. But either way, they're both taking damage, so it's not that big of a deal. Still gets value. <clears throat> now we're helping do damage. Watch out for these Sin Seekers because they're going to markers. No, the boss got enraged. Not like this. We should be able to survive. We had a pull like this. The last pull we just did, the boss was enraged and we lived the spread shots. They just hurt really bad. Yeah, they do like 90% of our health. And use our Venthyr ability. Yeah, those spread shots hurt really bad. People have to be like full HP. If they're even missing like 5% of their health, they just die to it. It sucks. Might still be okay though. It's a long enrage though. That's the problem. It's just how long the enrage lasts on the boss. And now we have like the cutest like walking around also doing damage. So during the spread shots, we have to like stop moving and not do any damage. Or not have us take any damage, I mean. Port brew here in case I get targeted. And then I'm also going to drink a mana pot. These Sin Seekers are pretty much going to kill us. Don't even think we... Oh my gosh, I'm actually alive. And that spread shot didn't hit me. That's insane. Can't believe we actually live this. I think the Enrage fell off right as he Sin Seeker. Maybe that's what happened. Because I don't see how we would live that otherwise. Unless we just happen to. I don't know. Wasn't paying attention to the remainder of the debuff. We got an innervate, nice. Uh, we'll just spam some vivifies while the dog moves around. And then we'll manatee as the innervate ends. Essence font. Spam some more vivifies. Press our U lawn while we still have the manatee going. We can't really afford to press enveloping mist here, so instead we will just use U lawn as kind of some passive healing and then the occasional. Um, Enveloping Mist. Vivify with our Thunder Focus T. And we'll Health Pot Healthstone. Venthyr ability. Use our Trinket with our Venthyr ability. By the way, is amazing. I love the combination of Soul Lighting Ruby and the Venthyr ability. It's really, really nice. I don't think it's mandatory or anything, but it's just... It basically just makes sure you get the two minute cooldown. We'll put these on the markers, maybe survive, probably not. No, we like double stacked our Sin Seeker and we didn't have anybody soaking, but that's fine because we just suicide those last Sin Seekers anyways. Cool, and that's it. So that was a little bit, a little bit messy, but we survived. So we did our part. Cool. GG's.